you know, when you get some sort of an, uh, infection, either by a bacteria or sometimes by a, by fungus, um, you know, doctors would prescribe you some sort of antibiotics or antifungal to 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 treat treat this infection. Um, but uh, you know, sometimes these these microorganisms will start to adapt to the presence of these drugs. So they would generate they would have these mutations that allowed them to to I guess defeat the, the drug, so they would persist in your body and, and your infection would, would continue. So in my lab, we're working on developing uh, adaptive evolution uh, techniques to help address this, this question, to help us better understand how these, um, how these pathogens adapt to these antimicrobial drugs. One technique um, that we're, we're using in my lab is the use of these um, color-coded um, yeast. Um, so essentially what we do is we introduce different fluorescent proteins. So these are proteins that, that have different colors into this, this yeast that we're interested in studying. So we end up with populations of you know, different colored yeast, but otherwise they're the same, except for the different colors that they're, they're exhibiting. So then what we would do is we would do these evolution experiments in the lab um, where we would evolve these different populations of yeast in the presence of the drug. So what we saw were expansions and, and contractions of different colors as evolution is going on. So essentially what we were observing is evolution in real time as we see the, the, the expansion of a color indicating that something better, uh, something that's more adaptive, ha has risen in the population. Essentially what, what um, our, our preliminary results um, showed was the most comprehensive picture of adaptive evolution to date.